Nestled amidst pristine greenery at the lap of this hillock is Sri Siddhaganga Mat, a 600-year-old ashram established by the revered saint Sri Goshala Siddheshwara Swami. A multifaceted institution with a strong commitment to humanity, the Mat runs 128 quality educational institutions all over Karnataka, reaching out to over 45,000 students each year. These institutions offer primary school to postgraduate education in various disciplines, including engineering, business management, pharmacy, nursing and teaching. Care of the physically and mentally challenged is a cause very dear to the mutt. Concern and confidence building amongst neglected elders occupies equal attention. The Sri Siddhaganga Gurukula under the aegis of the Siddha Ganga Mutt offers free schooling, boarding and lodging for over 8,000 students drawn from poor rural families belonging to all castes, creeds and religions. Nearly 32% of the children here are orphans. It is undoubtedly the biggest school of its kind in the country in a single rural campus. The route to the heart and the head cannot be over a hungry stomach. Da Soha, the daily mass feeding scheme, is one of the most cherished activities of the Gurukula. Besides the 8,000 students, there are about 2,000 pilgrims who are provided with free food every day. Discipline is the watchword in all spheres of activity. There is no scramble for food. Students and teachers are engaged in one voluntary service or the other. Heading such an esteemed institution has been the preordained mission of the present patron saint Sri Sri Dr. Shivakumar Swamiji. A scholar in Kannada and Sanskrit, the Swamiji ceaselessly strives to eliminate the shackles of communal dominance, normalize the lives of the physically challenged, and eradicate obstacles of want in those who are underprivileged. His dedication and service has drawn the awe and attention of several people including heads of state. However, such a wide spectrum of service activities and the ever-increasing pressure on each activity are a challenge to the Gurukula in terms of resources. Though the Gurukula is spread across 108 acres, the classroom space is woefully less. 70 students are herded in a classroom big enough for just about 40 students. It is a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder nudging situation for four to six hours of classroom duration every day. The result? Insufficient attention and monitoring. There is a similar crunch for space in hostels. As against the planned accommodation of six students per room, 16 have to squeeze in with their belongings. The effect? inadequate private study. The resources generated by the Gurukula from rental and agricultural income and government grants are hardly sufficient to meet 62% of the current annual expenditure. The balance to tide over even routine expenses has to be made through public contributions. Bridging that shortfall of nearly 1.55 crore rupees is not a small effort. The Dasoha scheme of mass feeding is itself a colossal project, accounting for over 1 lakh rupees a day on a normal day. Even with voluntary services, the average cost works out close to 4 rupees a meal. Despite these challenges, His Holiness Dr. Shivakumar Swamiji continues with his relentless efforts. Mostly this institution is devoted for the benefit of the common man and for the backward rural areas and rural, rural people. So as far as possible, we have done whatever best we can do in our capacity. And we have developed the institution and provide accommodation, good accommodation and good infrastructure and also good food to students studying here. So we are approaching uh, public and uh, expecting help from the general public. If we can get good accommodation or good help from the general public, we'll try to make it the very best institution, the ideal one. The best thing is, we must help the poor people, 
Master them become good citizens of India. Then only, of course, we can see the progress of the country. Even today, he follows a dedicated daily regimen of 16 hours a day, running the mat, offering prayers, and providing succor to the teeming thousands. On April 1st this year, he will turn a hundred years old. On this occasion, devotees and well-wishers of the Mutt have decided to come forward and make a dedicated effort to strengthen the Gurukula. The overall infrastructure, its school facilities, library and computer centers, hospital, prayer hall, water supply and sanitation all need resources and help. If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich, said John F. Kennedy. These words are more relevant now than ever before. Look at the glow in the eyes of these children. It flames with hope despite hardship. Let us remember that they are the arbiters of tomorrow. Siddha Ganga Gurukula beckons your benevolent spirit to partake in its endeavor towards social upgradation, liberation from hunger, liberation from illiteracy. Let us join together to create a life celebrated amidst majestic equality. <laughs>